Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone It's my good pleasure to welcome you to my presentation My name is Reza Pahlevi And I'm a student at Muhammadiyah University of Yogyakarta As the speaker, I will present my presentation about education We know that education is very important And with that education, I think our life will be bad and the topic of my presentation is online learning as the future of education the reason we have to talking about education because education is a place for people to improve their quality and integrity with a good education the future will be better now let's move into the outline my presentation is divided into four parts. The first is definition of online learning. The second is the benefits of online learning. The third is negative impacts of online learning. The fourth as the last is solving the negative impacts of online learning. Now, I'll commence by definition of online learning. Here, online learning or e-learning is a system of education that uses technology to enrich or facilitate the learning process. So, online learning need technology as the facilitate. Uh, the technology means that like uh, internet or computer. And, and also, we can use smartphone as the facilitate or for online for learning process. In the second part of my presentation is about the benefits of online learning. First is Convenient access. Convenient access means that easy to access online learning because you can access the e-learning while you have technology like an internet or a computer. In addition, you can access your e-learning by smartphone. And in this era, I think everyone using smartphone to their life. So that access the online learning is not difficult. The second point is flexible scheduling. The online learning is flexible scheduling because you can learn in every time. It's not like offline learning. You have a scheduled class and have to meet with your lecturer. But in the e-learning, you can learn when you have big time. Example of my experience, let's see to my class OMU. The lecturer gives us at least one week to finish our course in the online learning. So during the week, I can choose one of the day that I can do my course. The third point is more study options. The online learning has more study options. Example of my class OMA. On the website consists of all of the course for one semester. And also, you can learn or find sources with easier if you're using online course. Also, you can find sources in Google or YouTube. The fourth point is financial savings. With online learning, you are only need internet and computer. If you have not a computer, you can using your smartphone, so that you don't need to spend your money to go to your campus and buy food for your motorcycle, or buy foods because in your home you have it. So that with online learning, you can save a lot of your money. The five point as the last is building skills. There are two skills you will build if you're using online learning. First is soft skill. For example, you will learn how to manage your time because there is no schedule. So you need to manage your schedule by yourself. The second is hard skill. In the e-learning, you will build your hard skill by doing the assignment and you will get the knowledge for yourself. In the next text, we'll be talking about the negative impacts of online learning. Besides the online learning have the benefits, it still has the negative impacts such as first, poor communication. Because the most meeting we do in every different place, so online learning is not really need face to face like online learning. This is why the students will poor communication with their friends and also their lecturer. The second is difficult feedback from instructor. As we know, when you have course, sometimes you will need a feedback from your instructor or lecturer. 
but in the online learning you will difficult to get it because the instructor is not always ready to give you feedback when you need it probably you still get the feedback but sometimes you will get in another time and the third point is students be lazy this one is the problem of students in this era because everything what they want is available so they are spoiled by technology they are take the advantages by find or finish their job with using Google help in short they are don't need to thinking too much about their course the fourth point as the last is too easy get the answer this point connect with the third point in this era everything has the answer moreover there is answer about something in out of your expectation you only need to type in your question in Google so that the answer will come up now the last take will be talking about the solving the negative impacts of online learning so there is the way to solving the negative impacts of online learning as the students and instructor we can do it firstly the instructors and learners embrace the shift away from traditional class to online learning so we need a teamwork between the instructor and students secondly developing a purposeful and well-defined online course this point is directed to the instructor so that the students know how to use it and when they need the online learning the last point is the instructor focus on the overall elements of a well-developed course now let's move into the conclusion for all of my presentation first is as people who live in digital era we must take the benefits of this era the second is the negative impacts of online learning can be overcome with supporting by lecturers or instructor and also learners the third is don't feel poor communication because online learning still need a teamwork the fourth as the last is you can do online learning in every place and every time so here is it my references that I used to build my presentation and that that's bring me to the end of my presentation and if you have question and and answer for me you can put down in the comment and I will give you feedback later thank you very much for your kind attention uh, see you on the next meeting assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh